Hey, fast fellas. Time for us to go ahead and take some more cities. You've already got more science than anyone. <laughs> I heard science output is pretty damn good, I have to say. Also, can you just take a second to think about the fact that I have 127 great engineer points per turn? How actually bonkers that is. As we recall here, Abraham Lincoln's abilities utilize loyalty as its main mechanic. So getting industrial zones out in the early to mid game is absolutely going to help you just to solidify your empire. Once you've done that, Remember, you will be spawning free melee units, so this gives a nice little bit of tempo for you to develop a nice army as well. There's the moon landing. The class struggle necessarily leads to the Going from monarchy over to communism, so that's fantastic. So, options for us are going to first be to move some things over. Another comparison is within the Tokugawa run. This is a fantastic card in the late game. This is going to boost an already very high value type of trade route even more. Wild card policy slots. So we do have some nice options. So as I mentioned before, we have science foundations. And recall that we have all these great engineer points that we can add on top of. All right, so we've got ourselves a pretty good amount of pressure within the region. We're going to take that secondary capital to lose will start to lose its loyalty quite quickly here. Zanzibar is beginning to lose its loyalty enough to where, yes, she'll get it back pretty easily. But if we start taking a couple more cities before then, that will actually go in our favor. We will take that particular great person. Let's see. Aha. So we are going to make sure we try to get this. If we can catch up a good bit and get this pretty quickly with an average of 84 per turn we can definitely get there very fast 15 percent i would say 1500 production towards space race project completion is pretty damn good that is going to be the end game goal here once we have that started we can really take off and finish things off the way we want in this game right about over here we've got three cities converting in our favor that is fantastic because as we convert more of these cities, that's more loyalty pressure that'll continue going to these other ones. And it'll make taking these last so many cities a lot easier. And then afterwards, what we do want to do is we are actually going to go for globalization specifically for two things. One is going to be for the International Space Agency. And two, we do want to go ahead and have ourselves a nice governor title so we can plug that into the master plan. Every turn, you earn 3% of the gold in your treasure as income, and then offensive spy missions are boosted by quite a bit when you succeed. So, you get some very nice benefits. Do the first wave of damage with that unit. Do the second wave. And then take. As we're taking that, what we can do is then immediately move up into a nice neutral position here. So we're going to go here. We're not likely going to get hit by the AI here because it's a free city. They won't attack us most likely with this district. If we do, that'll be the first time I've seen that. Let's get a couple envoys here and then immediately go into synthetic technocracy. Synthetic technocracy here is fantastic for two reasons. One, you gain power in all your cities. And two, the 30% production towards all city projects. Yes, this includes space race projects. Now, what we want to do is start to place down as many of these solar farms as possible. In this city so far, we are at a nice whopping 180 production here. So that is fantastic. There's not a whole lot else we could do to maximize our production here. We have almost everything kind of sorted out for the most part. And I would say if we wanted to kind of go a little bit higher with it, we could put some mines here. But honestly, it is not a major concern. We have a lot of other infrastructure needs taken care of. So we're going to do something that's actually going to take a lot of gold away from us. But we're going to min-max for science output here. So that is going to give us a whopping 850 
science per turn. That is pretty damn good. So that is awesome. That will speed us up massively with regards to these things. Now, instead of being four turns a pop, we're now down to three turns. And then that's also not to mention all of these other campus research grants, which are getting done, which will give us even more tempo. We're just waiting on the AI to complete this. It's going to be a little while until they're done. This is getting done pretty quickly, so we're going to keep on that. We want to keep on getting as many of them as possible. That way we can really take advantage of that. Okay, so a good name that free city does do damage to us, so that is good to know. Fabricating Scandal has been completed. Let's see that in action. So that, if you want to take a look here, just gave us the most beautiful, beautiful momentum here. And now we don't need to worry for the rest of the game for this particular city-state. We can just hold on to Geneva for the rest of the game, and now we can actually really take that science tempo. So, it's time we finish up this war, shall we? That's, uh, that's pretty good. And now we don't need to worry about war for the rest of the game. And now, guess what? Take a look at our science. Thousand science per turn. So by turn 253, we're at over a thousand signs. I'd say that's pretty damn good too. We are absolutely cruising to the science victory at this stage. We have a ton more science tempo. We can take a look here. These, not only are they three turns, but eventually there's going to be some overlap in the amount of extra science points there. So we're doing pretty well there. I would say we are completely in control of the rest of the game. What we do want to do in Geneva is because this is under our control, we can actually go over to Bologna and then do a little bit of work there. That could be a nice option for us. May not do a whole lot, but the fabricating of the scandal here just gave us the most control we would ever have for the rest of the game. And now we're just going to blast through the rest of these science techs here. And I'd say that is a pretty solid position for us to be in. We're pretty much caught up to the AI. We have 100, <laughs> have 100 engineer points per turn. I do want to see what's going to come up after that one. Maybe there's a chance there could be a 3,000 production one, which if that is the case, then we are going to need to get to work on that as well. Okay, so Dijon has converted. That's good. That will actually eventually convert towards us specifically, and that's just going to apply more loyalty pressure. Down to 45 turns. We're a couple turns away from that, and awesome. So we do Robotics have that complete. We have three envoys here. So let's consider what we can actually go into. So that is going to be boosted to eight. Batru decided to put a couple more in. Let's do that. We're going to have those three, and then let's do one into that. So that way we can make sure in a few turns we will get that pretty quickly. And then Samarkand. That is at 8, so next round of 3, we should be able to go ahead and convert another couple of these particular city-states. Awesome, so we have officially started the Exoplanet Expedition, which means we are now essentially in the final stage of the endgame here. And we are winning said stage. We are completely blasting off, so to speak. We're rocketing away to a victory. I'd say we made satellite work of that <laughs> so next turn we should see what we're going to unlock here it's either going to be this one or the final card which is going to be over here and we're going to see if we can actually start speeding up our exoplanet expedition progress yes that's the one we're looking for so let's do that Okay, cool. So we can also go for potentially a nice stadium here. That's going to give us some boosts throughout the region. So we can go for that. Bread and circuses are complete. So we can just go into granary and then overhaul specifically for science production. There is a chance that uh, Norway might snipe this if they do. I'm not really too worried. It's going to convert in our favor anyways, because Norway doesn't have control of that whole region. And we are in a position where we should be able to take this city pretty easily. 
So we are going to take that. Now, I don't know what's going to happen to those units there. I have a feeling that this builder is just going to get moved. Right, so the builder got moved. We did get another city, and we avoided this city going disloyal. So it's going to take quite a while for the city to get back up to, uh, to a better state. But we do have this city confirmed, and we don't need to worry about it. Meaning, we have full control of these cities. Now the last city here is their capital city. We're just going to leave that city for the rest of the game. That is not a threat. We're a few turns away from getting ourselves a nice spaceport. We could also consider getting a hydroelectric dam. That's going to give us really good sustainable power in the long term. So I would actually like to consider that. While normally I would actually make a specific effort for getting the Amundsen Scott Research Station, at this stage of the game it's not really going to do anything for us, so we're already kind of far, far away from getting it, and it's going to take too long. At that stage, we already have completed the game, and we've already won it. We do have a free governor title, so at this stage, we can consider some options. There aren't really that many things we could do with a governor title, because we've just kind of taken care of everything that we need. I will say, getting that would be good, because we can actually bring Pingala over here, and we can really boost our production in another city. So let's actually go ahead and do that. Let's reassign Pingala to New Orleans. That'll give us a nice boost to our overall production potential. Of course, we are going to do that. Aha, finally. There we go. Top tier item right there. Bada bang, bada boom. Let's go and put that into here. You go here and then boom. While Carl Sagan was taken, we actually did get one that's a lot better for this because of the long-term benefits, so I'm not really too worried. Because the thing is, is that this is going to be one that applies for all future ones, whereas this only applies for whatever you're actually currently doing. I love it. So we've done so much damage to the AI here. Now we do have a lot of friendships that we can restore. We can go ahead and not get that back, so we are going to see them not wanting to be friends with us. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> see, at least you're nice. At least you're friendly. Ah, okay, you want to be friendly. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Everybody's swarming in like vultures just for this one tiny little city that's going to be useless because we're going to win. Ah, ha, ha, ha. So that has been improved. That's excellent. So we have a ton of slots here available. Not that it really matters, because we're already pretty much going to win this game no matter what happens, but it's still kind of funny that we have the option available to us. Washington completed terrestrial lasers, so let's go ahead and do another round of lasers. New envoys. Oh boy, we have some new envoys to use. Take Zeus and T of that. And put one into that. Alright, so like we just completed a couple more projects. The future. And at Destroy this stage, we have 11 light years per turn pace. And the fantastic part about that is the fact that that's coming now at the stage of the game where we're quite literally one turn off the victory. So, shift and enter. Let's get right through it. Much as our there ancestors did ages ago, we thrust forward into the unknown. Another science victory for the, the ages. The first pioneers set forth on an uneasy course. And yet once again did our people thrive. Now, under your leadership, we plot a new course and make another world our own. Not too bad. So that's another science victory right then and there. So I want to give a special thank you to you guys all for your support in this series. 
Got another one of these Let's Play series done, and this time it was with Abraham Lincoln. I'm really quite happy with this run. We did a lot of good things early on and really developed pretty well. Made some small mistakes here and there. We were able to keep Scouty McScoutface alive, so I'm quite happy with that. I've also got a video in the top left part of the screen. Go ahead, check that one out. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you all so much for watching. Speed Demon out.